Here we have an EVGA 3090 video card that came in for repair. The same card that we get in every single day. I have one on my bench here also. Same exact card. Popular. We get a lot of business working on those cards. Now this one is a bit different, or at least from the description, I think the problem is a bit different. Right off the bat, we see something going on right here. Signs of work that was done on this side of the board. What I want to do is read the ticket. I already did, but I want to read it to you. So you can see what's happening. Referral source, Lewis Rossman. I did not know Lewis Rossman refers customers to us. The customer wrote, I believe it's missing capacitors. Try to replace some on my own, but my hands shake too much to get any good connections. But it might have other issues I was not able to find. So it looks like the customer did attempt to work on this. I told you, I saw signs of work that was done to back of the board. And look at this. Look at this. What type of flux is this? Are you kidding me? What is this, grease? What type of flux is this? I can see absolutely nothing. No wonder the customer is not able to solder anything on that board. How many times do I need to mention Amtec Flux? How many times do I need to mention that we are a distributor for Amtec Flux? How many times? How many times do I need to mention proper tools and practice? I'm going to mention it one more time in this video, just in case you missed it. We carry and sell original Amtec Flux, best Flux in the market. I've been using it since 2014. We became a major distributor for that Flux. We sell amazing tools, soldering stations, hot air station, thermal camera, tweezers, the Northridge Fix brush, everything, one-stop shop. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. We'll see if we get any more of those with this type of flux. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to repeat myself in the next video and the one after it, and the one after it. From now till eternity. In case you missed it. I'm not doing those repairs so I can look at your pretty face smiling after watching the video. No. This is a business. Some people do not like it when I advertise. The good thing is I do not look at those 1% of people. I look at the majority who log in and purchase, support the channel, support the business. And we got a lot of business thanks to you. But I offer something in return. All right. So I see one missing capacitor and one is loose. Which one was loose? Right there. We have one missing capacitor here. And I do not think that one missing capacitor will break the circuit because those caps are connecting in parallel. One, two, three, four.
I mean, look at this. The customer went for oil mining. This stuff does not come off. I'm almost 100% sure FedEx came in. Hey, what's up, buddy? Package? All right, all right. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Uh, Alex, hey. All right. Before we proceed, let me just check for a 12 volt short. These boards are known to have a short circuit at V core, at one of the 12 volt lines. We're going to start by measuring here, meter in diode mode. Surprise, no short circuit. We're going to check inductor number two. No short circuit. Fuse is good. And inductor number three, no short circuit. Wow, amazing. EVGA 3090, no short circuit. That's amazing. Maybe we can do a quick visual inspection on the board. So is it possible that one missing capacitor connecting in parallel from back of the board is what's causing the issue? Very unlikely. I don't know, unless there's something else missing. Or unless the circuit became unstable. Who knows? If you want to make your thesis on it, do it and let me know. Customer looks like he lives on a farm. We see hay, we see horses, we see elephants. Maybe we should take a closer look at this area. I don't think we have anything here by default, nothing here by default, but I'm going to have to look at the donor board and see if we have anything on those empty pads. And the magic of this flux that was used on the board is it doesn't matter how much you take out, it's going to reproduce and generate more flux on the board. I can keep doing this all day. I come back after 20 minutes and we have more. That's what's magic about this flux that was used on the board. Auto generate. Unless we have a missing resistor somewhere, then yeah, that can create an issue but I do not see it. Somebody in the comments will write, oh, what about this guy right here? Missing component. Let's measure 1.8 in ohms mode. We should have something like 229 ohms. And what readings we have 200 the number is going up and down. Actually, no. 
221 ohms, perfect. Let's measure packs. We should have between 4 to 9 ohms. And I have 6.5. Let's measure 12 volts on the bottom here. And we do not have a short. We're going to measure 3.3. And we do not have a short. So for the most part, it looks like the card is good. One other thing I want to measure is this fuse on back of the board. I worked on a lot of EVGA 3090s where this guy was causing issues. Meter in diode mode. And the fuse is good. So it looks like we only have a problem here. That's the way I see it. Let me grab a donor board. Okay, so it looks like we only have one missing capacitor and we're gonna have to go over the one that's loose this one here and that's about it you see how our flux looks like What would you do if you did not have a donor board? How would you tackle this job? You will need to know the value of this capacitor and you will need to buy that value. It takes time. And that's why people mail the stuff over to us. We have donor boards for almost every make and model. We got the job done quick. But if you do not have a donor board, you will need to look up the schematics, look up the value of the capacitor. Then you need to buy that capacitor if you do not have it. Wait until you get that capacitor. It's a process. Let's use our anti-glare light. Yeah, we're good. All those caps are connecting to that center pad from the side. So it's okay if they bridge. Just like those, one, two, three, four. Just like those, one, two, three, four. And just like those. Very nice. So we're done. Will that card work? I don't know. I was surprised that the card would not work because of one missing cap connecting in parallel. But maybe because the other one was not making a connection, it created instability in the card. Maybe. I have two more cards I need to test. One of them is this one here. And the other one is this one here. I'm going to put them on the side. I have three video cards on my bench that we need to fix today. Expedited. 
the card is connected PCIe adapter connecting to a Dell motherboard we have the 12 volt cables you cannot see one two three on the bottom and HDMI cable hopefully the card will work and turn on I do see lights So I did not get an image. Let me do quick measurements. Power supply off, then power supply on. I want to measure V core quick in voltage mode. And we have 0 0.77, our 1.8 volt line. We have 1.8. Our packs, if it's not already gone, zero. Let me turn the power supply off. We may have to have the heat sink and fans on. Yeah, packs is present. So all voltages are present. You see, now we hear six beeps after the car turned on for a few seconds, probably overheating. So I'm gonna ask Big Boss to reassemble the heat sink, the fans, and we're gonna try again. Right now we do have V-Core, we do have memory, we do have 1.8, we do have packs. Of course, we have 12 volts, we have 5 volts. One thing I want to check on quick are the data lines on back of the board. I think I already checked on them, but let's do it one more time. I'm going to hand the card over to Big Boss to reassemble so we can test it. Hopefully it's a fix. If not, then we're going to have to disassemble again and try to figure it out. But we'll see. Are we going to see a Dell logo? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, 3090 is fixed. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.